This is chapter 48 in Beyond Exile. It's called Modern Man. Um, at the end of uh, chapter 47, the job, we discovered uh, Desi questioned Frank, informed Frank that uh, Carlos is in Milan, Italy, teaching Russian at, the, at Berlitz, and gave him a gun with instructions to kill him. And uh, that's where we left off at in uh, Cologne with uh, Frank leaving Ulrich's apartment. Then at the end of the chapter, it said, meanwhile, off in Milan, Italy. So Carlos is, uh, is ahead of Frank in this, in this chase. He's in Milan. And that takes us to uh, this new chapter, Modern Man, which is in uh, scene 115, the Berlitz Language Center in Milan, Italy. Um, and here is Carlos. Um, we can look at Carlos. And he has added more writing to his manifesto. So we can look more at his writing tablet, which we looked at a while back when he was, uh, uh, he was talking about his fascination with Jack Parsons. But let's see where he's taking off now. I'm the new man. The new man is mine. Modern man has proven himself venal, sly and incompetent, resentful, still keen to pose in the king's clothes and ride the king's mistresses. Modern man is an ape, a mean worm, a shuffling herd of obscenities enamored of statistics, feeding on envy, greed, and gift ephemera. Modern man prefers his cubicle, his circumscribed vocation, his fast food, his narcotic prescriptions, his manic shopper wife. Whenever he stepped on, he doubles up and calls the jackboot God. Yes, modern man doubles everything up and calls the jackboot God. Everything's exaggerated. Everything's filth, violence, movie gore, TV drivel, and the news of the world. The last man's a small man, smaller than the ants Harry Lime saw from the top of the Ferris wheel. The last man reduces life and death to worn sofas, wheezing in the boarding house, a vicarious experience, always crying out for something better, always choosing something worse. I'm the new man. The new man is mine. I'm the new John the Baptist, dunking believers in rivers of bloody consciousness turning every man into a terrorist by building the bridge to future man. There are still some who claim anarchism works when it provokes oppression. They think anarchism sparks revolution. Nonsense. Disinformation. Worse. The apparatus can always turn another screw. Society is the perennial nemesis of the individual. What we prize as Western culture is the eluding, the outrunning, the overcoming of society. Modern man and the apparatus are perfect together. They deserve each other. They inspire each other. I create terror as art to destroy this perfection, this diabolical marriage. Frank's a dreamer when he thinks singularities will spontaneously appear, leave their high mountain caves and inner city strongholds to construct his Athenopolis. A society of anarchists. No wonder he can't write. He still doesn't comprehend the flush of modern times. I was a happy child in Caracas, a carousing student in Moscow. I've met the Rothschilds in London. I've met Nixon, Brezhnev. I know the apparatus is insane. Our species is dying. Our course is written in the stars. Every 63 million years, 90% of all species die. We're at least two million years overdue. We're already dead. This is the primary assumption of third will. This is what the apparatus is saying. In every ad and press release, we're already dead so it doesn't matter. Give us your money, give us your vote. You're already dead, it doesn't matter. I'm the revolution. The revolution is mine. I overturn the covenant. No tribe is chosen, no tribe is saved. This carcinogenic concept has disabled the Western world. 
It's all about art, all about aristocracy, the transcendent gesture, gesture, the literary conceit, the noble death. Terrorism is the action that authenticates personal freedom. My pity for modern man has leaked out through the rhinoceros skin of the universe. What do I care of Frank's singularities? Their compassion for the herd negates their slight strategic advantage. They're lost without an apparatus. I'll die like an Apache, like a Celtic Red King, like the last singer of the box saga. To define their solitude and circumscribe their chaos, my life means nothing. Sure, the semi-conscious apparatus will try to erase me, toss me in the memory hole. The apparatus will insist you sprang directly from the greasy thighs of the nation state, that you came from nothing, that you work your mind and body to the bone, and you return to nothing. It will force you into high-tech zombie cubicles. It will force you to renounce your ancestors, renounce your mother's breasts. The apparatus is a cretin. What, what do I have in common with these pathetic robots? These last men? Nothing. I love my parents. I love them in everything I do. This is my enlightenment. It's reserved for the few. Every breath I take is a symphony of fil filial piety. The Confucian Chinese know what I'm saying. My ancestors are my descendants. My descendants are my ancestors. Terrorism is my public service. I am a star of military history. I defeat the oppressor with a sword of self-knowledge. I return man to his free domain in a moment of weakness. Nietzsche called me the blonde beast in a moment of great penetration. He said, turn everything that's happened into something you willed. Amor Fati, this is my spirituality. If it happens, I willed it so. Will is the whole of the law, yes. I affirm everything, every time, all the time. No matter how you condition and recondition modern man, he's still an eyesore, a greedy ox, an artificial intelligence, too dumb to moderate his pleasure in the pain and suffering of others. I live for art. What does modern man know of art? Modern man can only appreciate filtered slogans that justify his tunnel vision. In fat plastic wallet, I'm a new man. The new man is mine. I'm a new spirit, breathing world destruction and world rebirth. I'm the first green blade of grass punching up through the radioactive ruins of the apparatus. I'm the first star of the first constellation after the end of time. I'm Che's new socialist man. The world is my overflowing. I'm a new renaissance man, and everything comes to a close with me. I burst. I dissolve into the free geometry of the future. I invest and levitate the universe. What's gravity to me? Who's this last man, this semi-conscious man, this modern man, this ridiculous maggot? He gives up his being for infantile satisfactions and avarice. He mortgages his identity for harpies and hokum. Listen, it's the time of the great collapse. I'm the prophet of authenticity. I'm magic. The only thing that matters is art. Man is my canvas. Terrorism is my bridge. I'm the ubermensch. The ubermensch is mine. I actualize what Nietzsche started. I'm beyond good and evil. I'm the distance that times time, and the time that distances distance. I'm the new man. The new man is mine. I'm magic, and I despise modern man. And that's the end of his writing, Carlos the Jackal. So. With that, a new chapter begins. Milan, Frankfurt, Vienna, Algiers, Tripoli, and then scene 254, El Rahaba Airport, Yemen.
and another new chapter begins, the Vienna Raid. We're going to pause the game uh, right here. Uh, that was chapter 48, Modern Man, uh, and we'll be back.